Hey world, this is Michael Gregory. We are about to spend a whole day with this guy. So these are your amps for the day. I wanted to do 10 amps today, but we just have nine. All right, so we are on the Vox AC30. This Vox is obviously out of the chassis. <laughs> and the reason for that is just to keep the heat down and uh, to keep it from shaking as much. Normally when I use this, I have the head co-located from the speaker cabinet so it doesn't shake the tubes to death and uh, once again it, it's not in the cabinet so it doesn't heat them up either this one's been modified I power scaled it so yeah you can see right there that knob that's basically a wattage knob so you can go from zero to or one watt to all the way up to 30 watts if you want and there's three three inputs and you're on the normal channel it sounds like yep yeah so this is the normal channel this is a top boost version so there's a tremolo channel on here normal channel and a top boost channel on it and other than that it's just just a regular box other than the power scaling what year is this this is a 2000 okay yeah it's either either 1999 or 2000 they did a really good job of recreating this, so I'm happy that I, yeah. All right, so I'm gonna let you take, take it away. Trouble with them. On the neck pickup, that's really nice. Yeah. So you know the arrangement of the jacks on there, right? So the, the yeah. one you're in now is the low sensitivity. Correct. And if you put it on the bottom one, it's a high sensitivity. Okay, I'm gonna go down to the next input. That's beautiful. And it seems effortless too. Yeah, yeah, it's not fighting you. Yeah. And you're not having to push. Yeah. Or uh, I always describe it, the difference between the, some amps give you the notes, others you have to take them. Oh, okay. This one just gives it to you. Yeah. That's it. Okay, go on to the next input. Alright, so this is the uh, top boost channel. Yeah. Low, low sensitivity top boost. I think this this channel gets you some extra EQ controls. I think I th oh, yeah. yeah. I think on the normal channel you just have the high and the low and I think this brings in the cut. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? 
humbucker in the bridge and the single coil in the neck is real nice, you know. One doesn't just jump out. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. EQ. This one's brighter, but it's not just like... Yeah. yeah. It's just that glassy, voxy... input. So this is the higher sensitivity with the extra EQ. The higher sensitivity with the top, top boost, boost circuit. So. And yes, you do have the extra, that extra knobs. <laughs> That's that sound. Man, that chime, right? That's oh, the yeah. word you always hear associated with Vox. to the tremolo trim channel <laughs> oh I love that she's got two Bond, right? James Bond. <laughs> <laughs> I can feel the guitar like. Oh, is it? How yeah. are your pant legs? Exactly. <laughs> That's a really nice tremolo. Yeah. You yeah. Know, nothing like tube tremolo. It's just, Tear in a glass eye, son. It really does. These things get cranky too. I mean, yeah. But there's no master volume, so it's just a, you just have to turn the volume all the way up. Yeah, I I love that you did this. Yeah, that's, that's the reason I did that. And I can get it to like you can get it to that sweet spot before it tears you. What's in that circuit? I think it's like in my Doctor Z. I've got a thing called a Z break. That's different. Okay. So it's before the power tubes. It's mm. actually adjusting the voltage to the power tubes. And all the way up would be like normal AC30. Yeah. I'm going to hand these. What do you jump to, channels with I'm them? Gonna, yeah, I'm going to hand these to you. <laughs> Pull the one at the bottom and push it over to the left. Okay. There we go. Now that's right. Yeah. Yeah. The two that are going into the normal channel, just swap those two. That's nice. And then if you want a little extra gain, just pull the top boost channel all the way down and that'll that'll 
Yeah, just pull it, pull that one straight oh, down. The high sensitivity. And then that'll that'll give you a little bit more bite. Oh, that's nice. So it's the same thing. You're blending in two channels. To me, that's the funnest part about this amp is is the tone controls. Yeah, and all these different gain options. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just the vast array of sounds you can get out of that one amp are crazy. Try the PAFs on there? Yeah, let's do that. See how those sound. Yeah, a little bit different. I think I prefer that guitar. Uh, yeah, I do too. It, kind of, it feels like it's falling apart on the bottom end on this guitar a little bit. It's a little bit woofy with this guitar. Yeah. Probably has the most dynamic range out of, of all of them, yeah. Out of anything tonight. Whoops. Kneecap. <laughs> <laughs> like a dirt, dirty pot. <laughs> So, what's your favorite setting on this guy? Uh, well, guitar uh, and uh, two, I've got two. This one, and when we first turned it on, that just classic, characteristic box chime on the normal channel, low, yeah, low, uh, sensitivity. That, um, with either an, uh, there's no effects loop in this, right? No. Mm -hmm. So, like with an outboard. Nice reverb and delay. Mm -hmm. Oh man. This setting with this guitar. Um, or with that guitar, yeah. grab that guitar, let's hear it. Yeah. That's yeah. tighter, everything's tighter. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 
you're not having to change anything in the way you play yeah. to get what you want out of it. Exactly. <laughs> I think that's it. Sounds like England. Yeah, it does. It really does. It's bloody Britain in a box, isn't it? <laughs> bloody Britain.